in this video let me try to explain aws glue connectors for example i have data in s3 bucket i have a data in redshift i have a data in oracle db and i have a data in process sql i need one glue job that need to take the data from multiple source i want to insert all the data into postgres sql for example if i want to take the data from postgres sql then i need to connect the postgres sql first with the glue otherwise if i'm directly using the code into that script then it will take more time to connect that not good way to good approach actually so first we need to connect the connector so if i want to connect the connector then the thing is have some tricky part yeah here you can see the documentation for example uh, your vpc should have a nat gateway which split the traffic into public and private subnet the public subnet subnet used to connect to the external source and the internal subnet used to process by aws glue which means uh, i need one nat gateway that split the traffic into public and private so the for example here i have a two data here i have a two database postgres sql and oracle db so if i want to connect these two database outside aws then i need public if i want to connect this database with a glue then i need private this is what i want to do like while creating the connector it literally ask you the network so i want to select the network and then subnet and then security group but this subnet not directly interact with the internet need to go with a route table nat gateway so that configuration we need to do first once it, it's a one time process once it's done then we can easily connect for that what we want to do like we need to go to first route table there we need to create a one table vpc and the name now route table part is done then we need to go nat gateway in the nat gateway a name and i need to select one subnet and then public i need to allocate one elastic ip once you done this thing then again go to the postgres db then vpc then it's look like that i have one route table that route table connect with one subnet that subnet and then nat gateway here internet gateway so that is a different so one request coming from aws glue then it will reach this point if any any request coming outside aws then it reach internet gateway so this configuration we need to do once this configuration if you want to do this configuration you need to just create a one uh, route table and nat gateway in the route table you need to point out any one of the subnet literally that is the one way so once you done then you can easily select that subnet i think this is my subnet and then security group save then if you check this connection it mostly got fail well if you're doing the testing here test connection like if you're doing this thing test connection it literally got fail because in glue that uh, jdpc it uh, for example um, here in the rds
they are using the version configuration i guess 16.3 but glue is using old version old version for connect this connector connect the test purpose they are using the old version still they are not yet updating so that if you do the connection test connection your it got failed but you can go to the visual visual etl uh, visual etl there if you are checking that connection then it will work the thing is if you are doing that thing from the scratch then you need to set up this network configuration that's the more more most crucial part so this is the one way another one way Another one way you need to create a private subnet here and to create one route table you need to link the private sub subnet to that route table and then NAT gateway. This this is another one way. Another one another one way uh, AWS provide you some S3 sub stuff. If we connect the subnet with this S3 then you can directly access the database from Glue as well. So 